Hi everyone, Leslie O'Leary here. Let's talk about the lotus leaves. So I had this beautiful handmade paper that I over dyed um, with greens and with a little bit of tans just to give it a variegated look to it. And so then after that, what I did is cut them all out and then I did stitching in place to give it a little bit more stability and to the look of the leaf. And then what I did is I took it and I did another over dye on top so that it would give it a, just a little bit more depth to it. And finally what I did is I took them and I pleated them or I will be pleating them and so they will have this type of look. So what does that look like on her? I'm going to bring her over. She'll be at an angle because our camera is um, set at this place right now. So you can see here's the skirt that I did that I did all the rushing or the folding in of it. The other thing I did is created um, some pantaloons for her and I wanted the bottom of this to be murky like what um, the lotus would grow up from and I'll probably do some staining on her feet to to mimic that same thing and so here she is and then what will that look like um, going around her skirt will be something like this and then going all the way around so stay tuned and I hope you guys are enjoying this journey with me. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, Leslie O'Leary here. Petals in Leaves, that's today's discussion for the Lotus. And so I'm so excited to bring this to you. If you want to see the full dyeing experience, then I will put a link to my blog and then you can read all about how this process all went together. So here's the paper that I decided to use. It is a Japanese paper. And you can see kind of in this light here that is actually silk screened on top to create these lines, which I think are just gorgeous. And I feel like mimic the outside of the leaves, I'm sorry, of the petals. And then the interior, I chose this vintage kimono that has a gold hue to it with a little bit of pinkness in it. So let's see what the final product looks like. So here they are complete. So here's the exterior. There are uh, many steps to achieve this. Um, uh, I'm going to say maybe four or five different dyeing techniques. And then the other thing I did too is I came back with watercolor and tipped them and then put some white just for some highlights along it. And then on the interior of this, um, this was also has a yellow dye in it towards the edge. And then I also used a little bit of brown to give it just a more natural look. Um, the the paper and the fabric are then um, stabilized and then fused together and that's how you get this leaf shape or this petal shape and then they are steamed into place to hold this um, beautiful curve. So you can see I have a whole bunch of them here. They're different sizes um, and they will be inserted um, along the corset. So just kind of, I'm not really quite sure yet how they're going to work. So. I'm going to have to play with this a little bit and it'll come up and around like on her collar line. This is a playing with this a little bit to figure out the final results. And then I also have these vintage stamens. So I'm going to use these um, in there. So that that's yet to come. And now let's jump over to the leaves. Again, you can visit my blog to see the full dyeing process. Um, I use this beautiful paper that I add. I just... This just so spoke to me. Um, I love it so much. It has um, more of a texture on one side and then more of a flat on the other. I really use the textured side as the side up for the leaves. So let me show you the final product on that. Here we go, over here. So these were all, again, the sheet was hand dyed 
and so there again several dyeing processes to get all these different colors on here and then I went back in and top stitched to create more of the veins of it and then I decided to um, um, I used the sizing and then I steam set these into pleats because these are actually going to be more of it's my interpretation of this and so it doesn't have to be realistic and I want it to be more of a garment than an actual leaf itself but still to represent the leaf so they're going to go along her um, around her skirt let me see if I can grab her skirt here um, here's her skirt I'll just lay it down here so you can see her skirt and then they will snuggle around the top area all the way around. I hope that makes sense to you guys and you're following along. I think it's going to be really cool when it's all put together. So the green also mimicking the interior of the lining of the skirt that was um, initially sewn together and then um, there are stabilizer areas in it and that's how I was able to create these gathers or rushing, whatever you want to call it, rooching, uh, however you want to call it. Anyway, there you go. So I hope you guys enjoy. Keep watching um, Lotus. She is coming along beautifully. Um, the thing that I just did recently is I did tip dye her fingertips, and I also did her toes um, nestling up to the Mindy prints that were printed onto the fabric. So thanks, you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Music